from Crafty Creations. This is another video in our basic boot camp series. Uh, this one I just want to show you the basics of line work. I want to show you all the basic lines you should know and practice regularly in order to be a successful painter. Um, as you can see I'm currently activating and loading my round brush and this is the brush that we're going to use I think for all of the um, lines I'm going to show you today. Okay so the first um, line that I'm going to show you is well it's, it's as basic as it seems the one you need to be practicing is to start and draw straight lines that are of the same consistency and pull up sorry I'm technically I'm doing this on an angle the camera's that way and I'm I'm here so <laughs> it's the only way I can get my stands to work so I apologize for that so practice these as often as you can and really get to grips with feeling your brush and, and constructing those straight lines like that. Uh, the second line I'm going to show you is uh, the one that's probably used most in uh, tigers, muzzles, butterflies, leopards, uh, spots. Um, this is a, uh, it's thick to thin, so you start thin with the very tip of your brush on the paint and as you go drag down and give a little wiggle and pull back up like that. So start again, start really thin, push down on your brush to create a thicker line and wiggle and pull back up. Um, it's also good to practice these on a curvature. So if you start thin and as you push down, wiggle, also turn your brush and pull back up. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but as I'm pulling back up, I'm slightly twisting my brush because what that will do, rather than just pulling back up, you'll kind of get like a fainted line. If you pull back up whilst twisting, you'll get the paint until the very end of your line. So that's another good one to practice. So I'm just going to do it one more time. We'll start thin. We'll push down, wiggle, curve, and pull back up. And you can see how that could be a, a muzzle, for example, uh, if I do actually show you a muzzle. So start thin, wiggle, and flick. And then if you do that on the other side, start thin, wiggle, and flick. And that's the other thing as well. It is important to practice both sides and practice different angles because on a face, it's not, you know, all just the same. It's very important to really get to know your brush. Okay, so that's, that's uh, the, it's a thin to thick to thin wiggle. I don't know if it has a proper name. Uh, the next design I'm going to show you. By the way, this board, I normally use Sally Ann Lynch training tried and tested boards uh, for my designs and things, but I use this board for uh, line work and it actually came from Asda. It was a set of three flexi chopping mats and it's great for practicing line work. So if you need something cheap, I think this was £3 for three boards. Um, so if you need something cheap, I totally recommend that. Anyway, back to the lines. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is teardrops and this is great and important for uh, creating uh, finishing touches and butterflies and uh, flowers you know you, you'll learn your petals from that I do reverse teardrops normally so I'm, I'm going to show you them first so you've got your focal point wherever that is on your design and we'll go through focal points on another video and you start thin and push down to create a uh, thick line and very carefully pull up, not going any further than that thick line you've created. So start thin, push down to create a thick line and pull up, not going any further than that line that's already created. You see that? So as you go round, practice different angles, 
you will naturally be better at one way than you will the other. Push down. And this you're ambidextrous, in which case you're just showing off. No, I'm only joking. Um, and that's the reverse teardrop. A normal teardrop, which is also very important to practice, is this one where you start thick and as you pull out, you get thinner. Start thick and as you pull out, you get thinner. And again, practice that in both directions. Start thick and as you get out, pull out, you get thinner. See, I can't do it backwards like this. Start thick as you pull out you get thinner and again if you twist your brush as you're pulling out what you'll find is that you get more paint than when you don't okay the last things I'm going to show you that you really need to be practicing with your paints is how to get your dots which is really just getting that paint on the end of the brush but not so much that it drips like you can see I'm shaking it and it's not falling off but when you apply it very lightly or apply more pressure, you can create those perfect style dots. And I use this most in clusters of three. I've got an obsession with the number three because I find that this just creates a beautiful finish to your paint work. Um, and that's it. I mean, the only other thing I would suggest is just to practice your curves. So start thin. Pull down, go round, pull up, and your swirls, again, thick to thin, or thin to thick, and pull up. All of these will serve you well uh, for, you know, swirly designs, frozen masks, it's great for that because it kind of represents the wind where the ice is going through, things like that, or if you're you know doing an oriental design they love to do their winds or tribal designs love to have swirls so it's definitely another one that's worth practicing these are the lines then that i would suggest you practice on a as regularly basis as you can um like i said in the next video i'll show you how to activate your paint properly um, and there'll be another tutorial on lots of different things as well, so I'm not going to go through the whole list here. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our page for more videos like this. And if you have any um, ideas or things that you would like to learn, please do let us know. Love you. Bye.